Welcome to Symphony Workshop, I'm Gary Clark and this is the eighth and final part of the Symphony 5 security series. You now know all the main things that you need to know about authentication, authorization and access control. So I'm now going to add that one final security net by writing some automated tests to ensure that our access logic is correct. Before I get into that, let me remind you that I record in high resolution, so don't watch on a blurry screen. Choose high definition if that works for you. Would you like to join a growing group of PHP developers and take your skills to a new level? If that sounds like you, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon and welcome. The first thing I'm going to do is install Symfony Test Pack, which because I'm using Flex, I can just say compose that require PHP unit. And that'll install a lot of other dependencies, including PHP Unit Bridge, DOM Crawler, and Browser Kit. Now I'm going to create a test called Authorization Test. And so we're just going to test some of the things which we did in the last recording regarding authorization and some of the permissions to be able to perform certain actions. If you recall, we created an account, and we also have some users who are sort of stakeholders in that account. You have the account holder, the account manager, and I've added one other user who has absolutely nothing to do with that account, and so they shouldn't be able to perform any actions on it. Hopefully you will have noticed that my test is extending web test case. That comes from Symfony bundle, framework bundle, test, web test case. And we use web test case if we want to test endpoints. So for feature tests, things like that, or functional tests, depending on what you prefer to call them. First thing I'm going to do is just test that this is working. And when we actually run this, it will pull in PHP unit, PHP unit, because we don't have that yet. It needs to check first if we have it or not. If we don't, it will then add that dependency and then at the end of that run the test. So that passes, that's green. Now let's do a little bit of setup so that we can work on our authorization test. Web test case gives us a lot of handy stuff and one of those things is a client simulator called kernel browser. And so I'm gonna get that by calling static create client and I'll save that on a client property on the class. And then in order to test authorization, we're obviously gonna need a user so I'll also get a user repository and what we're going to do is we're just going to use our development database and query that to get hold of users in a larger application I'd probably set up a test database but we won't need it here because this is mainly for demonstration purposes so now we have a client and we have a user repository let's write our first test this first test is an admin can visit the admin dashboard. So we're just checking that any user with role admin is able to visit the admin dashboard. Minimum setup for this one, we just need a user and we need to log the user in. So I'll show you how to do that in a sec. First off, we'll query the database and we need to query for a user who has a role admin. I'm going to use some of Doctrine's built-in magic. If I append the name of the property onto the end of the find one by method, then it will find you one record using that property. So find one by email in our case. Then we need to simulate logging the user in, and we can do that by using the login user method on the client. So Symfony is really good for testing out all these handy things like that. The action we need to perform is to attempt visiting the admin dashboard. So we can call the request method on the client. It's a get request and this is the endpoint we're after, admin dashboard. And then we just need to make an assertion based on what we've just attempted to do. And there's a handy little method called assert response is successful. One test, one assertion, that passes. Let's now grab the email of a user who is not an admin and we'll try again. So it gives you all that stuff but ultimately it says that the test has failed. So that's good. Now let's have a look at some of the other tests we're going to cover. First off we're going to test that user cannot view another's account. Then an account holder can view their own account. An account manager can view accounts which they manage. A non-admin cannot delete an account, that should say. We'll fix that shortly. And an admin can delete an account. 
a lot of the time I will set my tests up like this because it just gives you a bit of a roadmap and it gives you that focus, you know exactly what you need to accomplish so you spend less time wondering what you need to do next. First thing we need to test is that a user cannot view another user's account. So I'll copy some of the code from the previous test which we can customise and we'll just check who are the stakeholders in the account. And so what I'll do is I'll use my Stooge which has no connection to any accounts paste that email address in there then we need to change the URL so I'll grab that from accounts controller paste that in there and it's accounts and the number is one and this time I'm going to check that the response is a 403 status which means unauthorized forbidden and then if we get that back it means the test has passed run this Okay, perfect. One test, one assertion. Now let's copy that and we'll move on to our next test, which is an account holder can view their own account. Three things that we need to do to this test. First, we need to annotate it as a test. And then instead of asserting that response status code is 403, we're just going to assert that it's a successful response. And then just behind the scenes, I've also pasted in the email address of the account holder, which is another user at example.com. And so let's go and run this. And we get a green test. Perfect. Let's now copy this. And we are going to test that an account manager can view accounts which they manage. So it will be the same account number. As you can see, our account manager email address is manager at example.com. We just need to run that test again. And so that's working. Copy again. So you can go through this really quickly if you've um, if you're focused and you've set up your tests in a logical order, you can really rip through them. Now we're going to test that a non-admin cannot delete an account. So we'll take our stooge again, paste that email address in there. And this time we want a 403 response. So I'll grab the URL, which is accounts forward slash ID forward slash delete. For this one, again, we're back to um, asserting that the response is a 403 status. So paste that in there. And then we just need to go and run the test. And that's green. And so we're left with just one test. And that is that an admin can delete an account. Same again, copy and paste. Annotate that it's a test. And this time we want a successful response. So I'll just grab the email address of the admin. And I'll change this last line. Then run the test. And so we have a series of green tests. And just to clarify something, we didn't actually delete an account there. I'll show you why. If you recall in the controller, we don't actually delete an account. We just sent back a response to say that an account is being deleted. But no database delete queries are being executed. And so that, my friend, concludes the series on Symphony 5 Security. Congratulations on working all the way to the end. It's a fantastic achievement. Hopefully you know a lot more than you did at the start and that you can put it to use in your projects. If you have gained value from these lessons, then please give me a thumbs up and don't hesitate to share if you want to help other developers like yourself. And one last thing, if you want YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the little notification icon. I release new material every few days. Details of my schedule can be found on the community tab of my YouTube channel homepage.